Travis and I Will Weller. Well, buddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're gonna try building. We're gonna try. We're gonna try we're hard. Gonna, we're gonna try our best to build <laughs> you a strike style. In the package, you get a PDB with a 5 volt and a 12 volt regulator. You get four arms, top plate, bottom plate, and a bunch of hardware. There should be enough M6s for all your motors, the three standoffs on the front and the back, and the, all the top plate. So we have 20 millimeter and 16 millimeter screws mm -hmm. and nylock nuts so for uh, attaching the arms to the body. Lock. Dude, you only got four of those, but five of those. Because there's only three of these and you get one extra. Ah, makes sense, dude. So then you get four 30 millimeter standoffs and five 20 millimeter standoffs. So we've actually included one extra piece of hardware for every type of hardware you're gonna need. You know, just in case one of these accidentally gets dropped on the ground, you're not gonna lose it. Oh, you're gonna lose that one. You won't lose the frame. We're good. You want to grab these, don't you? That's like the first thing you want to grab, but you really should be going for an arm. You should be going for an arm, but you really just want to grab these two first. But you kind of got to grab all three at once. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so get some holes lined up. Slide your big one, which is 20 millimeters, into the outside holes. I'm going to slide this guy over on top. You want to make sure the 12 volt regulator is going to the back just because that's super convenient later on. Yeah, so the front is this, the little hole in little the bottom hole. plate is for the camera bracket. Yep. So this and is the front, one. that's the back. So next part, we're going to take the 16 millimeter screws and do the same thing with the inner holes. We got all the screws in place for the center. So when you're done assembling it, it's going to be outside bolts are the long ones, inside bolts are the short ones with all steel nylon nuts. There's our extra hardware we've accumulated so far. We'll stick it in there. That's some fun extra stuff you get for free. Yeah! So, we gotta tighten these guys down. Right, we'll take a minute. Next step. What are we doing now? I think the next step would be putting the standoffs on. Yep. These 30 millimeters, there's two in the front, boop, boop, boom, and one in the back. And then 20 millimeters sit on each of these longer outside screws. Light controller standoffs. So this is spare. There. So we got the six mil play controller standoffs to put over the center bolts. Yep. So really all that's left is you stick the top on, screw it in. Ta da! And that's a frame. That's a frame. First step, I think, is ESCs. Mm -hmm. So, I want to hand me motor number one. Awesome. I want a golden kiss. So, one is over here. Yeah, double check your ESC polarity for sure. Because different manufacturers like to do positive and negative on different sides. Yep. So, you want to. You might have to cross your 
you just see power wires. Just like at the little plus and line that plus up with the plus on your ESCs. Yep. And I'll kiss it's on the right side. Alright. ESC's on. Let's do ESC covers. And I'll just slide right over there. All right, next we're gonna put the flight controller on. So remember, the front is the one with the two standoffs. Yep. And yeah, it's important to remember. So I'm using O-rings on mine as well. Just to keep in mind, some people have issues and O-rings tend to solve them. Yeah, if you're having gyro twitch type issues or vibration problems, which can be due to, what, well, like everything. Yeah, everything. Like Motors so everything. can cause bad vibrations. Uh, props can cause vibrations. You know, it's just different harmonics. So it's good practice to try and isolate it a little bit. So, you know, some cheap little rings help. My receiver and the wire harness. You do that one after all that? Because I would have usually done these first. Receiver and the wiring harness for my FTV. Thanks, bud. Yeah, man. No problem. I made sure. Put that in the back so there's not that much space. Yep, that's why it's useful to have the 12 volt in the back. And even though a TBS. Uh, even though this thing can do battery voltage, come on, motherfucker. I don't, I don't think anyone's gonna understand you. <laughs> Concentrated too much while I'm trying to talk. <laughs> so Zach says that you should be running the Unify Pro off a of 12 volt and not just battery voltage. Even though it can do what, up to six volt, right? That's the HV. 6S, yeah. Or 6S. Yeah. Hopefully it does more than six volt. Yeah. yeah. So it does more than 6S but the LDO on here will give you a little bit of filtering. Yep. So. And why not use it? I already had a little sticky tape on the bottom, so mine's good. Boom. Right, right like that. We'll swing that up to the front for FPV. And the last part is we gotta hook up this micro crossfire receiver. Your trick, huh? You got a trick, huh? I got all kinds of tricks, bro. You wanna know how tricky I am. I lied. I had one more step. You got me the little pieces of black and red wire that I used to oh, power my flight sure. controller. I actually probably should have done that a while ago. You did it. Where are you doing it off of? I was gonna do it off the battery pads. Right on the battery pads off I use these USC battery pads. Side. Oh, that's smart, dude. I like that. This one's power. That one's power. Okay, these standoffs? Yeah, you want to put those 20 mils on for me and not pinch the wires? Sure. Thanks, bud. Make sure you don't pinch the wires. Don't pinch the wires or travel will be mad. Travel? Travel <laughs> will be mad. All right, FPV camera. So FPV camera, we're using 3D printed mounts that you can find on Show Me What You Got. If you search Thingiverse or Shrike style. Stuff. Sweet. We'll put a direct link in the yeah. description. But 
you can also hold up. If you don't have a 3D printer or something, you can use this bolt right here and an extra. <laughs> like scratching my foot and I was so confused. Ah, scratching my foot. I just got to be careful with my foot. <laughs> Anyways, if you don't have a 3D printer, you can uh, use an extra M3 by 6 and a nylon nut to mount the uh, aluminum bracket that comes with the camera. You're probably gonna have to bend it forward a bit, but you know, it works perfectly fine. Yep. Sick press that bitch down on there like a motherfucking force to be reckoned with. And there you go. So, what's next? We like to zip tie. We need to zip tie. Zip tie stuff up? Mm -hmm. uh, Where are your little half? Your half size zip ties are great for that. You like those ones for that? Mm -hmm. So, we didn't include an SMA hole in this frame because. They suck? Because we found it's the most common breaking point in terms of just like the little weird accessory holes. And zip tying it's actually super secure. I haven't. The other thing is that, you know, it saves your antenna. So when you have the antenna SMA hard mounted, and the antenna crashes and bends, it will break at that crimp, right? So this actually lets it be more flexible. It's all protected in here. You won't be hitting it directly and bending it and forcing it. That's how I prefer your mind. Yeah. It doesn't too much at all. And that stays underneath the 5051's pretty good. All right, let's get these stupid I think antennas is... out of the way. Yeah, good call. All right, this is another 3D printed part. So how I usually do it is I take one of these straight antenna tubes and I hit them with a heat gun and curve them around. And then put some heat shrink on top. This guy's gonna go inside uh, of... Did you lose it? Yeah. One, two and a... Two inch wire, roughly. Is that how it works? Mm. I like mine a little longer. Do you? Yeah, I'm, I'm a three-incher, probably. Damn! Personally. And I think Zach is like a half-incher. Motor time. Damn some motors. So, last step is the top plate. Let's go over here. I need this stuff for because Jordan is done playing this and he's gonna do his own thing on his phone. Dude, I'm buying a screw. Oh, yeah, no, he's being useful now. So, top plate, we got two battery straps. You should go to creativedex.com and get a mount from him because they're awesome. Yep. Definitely legit. Don't tell Jordan I used that for cutting a zip tie because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's all been recorded. And then I got it easy peasy just. Put it right on top of there. Huh? 
You do the honors. Me? Yeah, do the honors, and Jordan. Own, I'm gonna just do maybe it. possibly burn your... And... Ta-da! Marks. Your very first FPV quad. Or maybe <laughs> second, or 10. Probably 10. So yeah, that's a relatively easy build. And if you've built a Shrike 220 or 200 and 185 before, it's going to be really similar. Yeah, the only difference really is that this is designed around nylon standoffs and having an isolated flight controller, as well as pretty much always carrying GoPro. Always carry GoPro, top you know, on a battery. Not a lot of camera tilt for freestyle because we believe freestyle is better done at a lower camera tilt. It usually works out better. Yeah. So there you go. Um, if your receiver doesn't quite fit underneath the flight controller, you can also just put it on top of the VTX back here and zip tie it. Yeah, I've done um, that before. Any other notes? Always use two battery straps, specifically pyro drone straps, because... They're awesome. Yeah, it makes you a better pilot if you have two straps. <laughs> You'll buy two from them, not just one. Yeah, you always have to buy two. Probably need to buy five just for bag ups and the XO Pro. And XO Pro from Creative Dex, super, super awesome mount that, I mean, this thing has gone under a river. Yeah, it's been in the river a couple times. It's been crashed in the mountains. Yeah, it's... I mean, have you broken it? You might have to trim the sides a little bit. Yeah, I did a know, little bit. It doesn't quite matter. Hmm, anybody else have any questions? Yeah, if you have yeah. any questions. Anybody else have some questions to ask? <laughs> anyone, anyone here have any? But yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, you know leave them in the comments below or feel free to email us. Um, you can find more. Uh, information about that on showmewhatyougot.co and as always thanks for watching like subscribe and comment especially comment we need feedback and special little